Week 10, problem 11. A hammer strikes one end of a thick iron rail of length 8 meters. Hmm, I think they say thick because that way they don't want it the way, uh, the rail itself wobbling because that would probably induce other factors and other sounds and such. Thick iron rail of length 8 meters. Microphone located at the opposite end of the rail detects two pulses of sound. One that travels through the air and the other that is through the rail. Longitudinal wave. Which pulse reaches the microphone first? Iron. Psh, iron is way faster than uh, air. And then they're like, by how much? Find the separation time between the arrivals of two pulses. So it's going to be hard to bluff my way through that one. So we have our rail. Looks like this. Oh, that's a terrible rail. You know, I can. I got all these cool shapes. I can do a much better job on this. Bam, giant rail. Make it solid, make it solid blue. Heck yeah, there we go. Ooh, maybe I can do it like this. Nah, solid's better. All right, so that's the rail. They both start, and we gotta find the time that it takes to get down there. So, velocity equals distance divided by time, because my car goes in miles per hour. Therefore, time equals distance divided by velocity. Okay. So distance, I'm going to say distance air equals, nope, I'm going to say time air. Because we know this is 8.00 meters. Time equals um, distance, which is 8, divided by, I'm going to say 343 meters per second. That's just something I know in life. You can probably look it up. 8 divided by 343. So it's going to take 2.33 times 10 to the negative, what do they want it in, milliseconds? Seconds. Okay, so we got 2.33 times 10 to the negative second. 2.3, no, no, go, no, pen, not eraser. 2.33 times 10 to the negative second, seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we need, I'm going to call this TA for air. I'm going to call this TS for steel. Let's say steel or iron. Iron. Ah, I probably should do like FE or something. Oh, I got to, never mind. Nah, terrible joke. Not worth your time. Sound of, nope, speed of sound. Speed of sound in air. Subsonic. Hmm. Speed of sound. Maybe that. Oh yeah. This isn't Google. Not sure. Speed of sound is a physical characteristic. There we go. Man, I got some crazy stuff there. All right, 343. Bam, got that one. Uh, I'm just gonna do iron. Iron, 5120. Bam. So eight. Divided by five, one, two, zero. Say like what? Fifteen times maybe. So minus eight divided by five, one, two, zero. Five, one, two, zero. Two point one seven six. Two point one seven six times ten to the negative second. All right. And I'll actually find the real time. I'll just skip in a step there. You'll understand in like two seconds. So the uh, 1.5 times 1.5, 1.56 times 10 to the negative third seconds. So way faster, way slower. Um, so we just take off since it's like, I'm gonna say it's over 10, so it's like 15 times faster. So if we take this and multiply it by like 0.93, we just take like 93% of it. So the air on top, this sound took 2.33 times 10 to the negative second, almost forever. On the steel side, it took 1.56 times 10 to the negative third, not nearly as long. And then to find the um, Find the separation of time between the two pulses. Find out when one pulse arrives. Find out when the other pulse arrives. 
find the difference between the two, and when their powers subtract, we get 2.176. 2.176 times 10 times 10 to the negative second. Probably should like e to the negative 2. Not important. So and that's how you guys should do this problem. It's pretty much just like 93% probably of the airspeed. Because um, the air is really slow compared to the steel. Alright, that's what you do for this uh, homework set. Um, hope the exam went well. Good luck on next week and See you on the next homework set. If this helped you, this made your life a little bit easier, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, help out your, help out your neighbor. Appreciate it.